Stevenson hangs on for an 11-10 win tonight over Widener. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, now joined by the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. Coach team got tested tonight, uh, and they answered that test, and they finished it off. Um, is this the type of thing that maybe can be good for your team as you go into the postseason? Well, I always think playing a, uh, a good close game is a good thing. You know, I think that's always good for your team to get tested and do some things. We did a, uh, we did a good job. I just think at, the, at times we just make a few mental mistakes that we didn't need to do some things. JT went in the end there. We didn't really need that. And, uh, you know, they, you know, Louie got lost on a, a play he usually doesn't get lost and to give him that goal, to get the 10th goal. But, you know, we toughed it out. You know, we did a good job. And, um, you know, I just think that it's always good. Widener always kind of plays us tough in the regular season. We'll see if we see him again, what happens. And, uh, you know, they bring a lot of spirit. And uh, their fans certainly bring some uh, some interesting comments as well. And so, uh, you know, we were, uh, we were ready to go. And, you know, we had to handle a tough environment. And, and, and uh, we that's good for us to do. You know, handle a tough environment to do that. That's always good around the playoff time to get your team ready and focus in those situations. And we practice them a lot. So we'll take it. You know, we move on now to conference play. And, uh, the ch- and, and uh, you know, but we always get some tough games. And we know that the teams, and the, you know, you don't go on streaks like this in your conference without playing some tough games without teams doing that. And I think we kind of have a better idea about what they're about. And I think if we see them again next time, uh, we'll, be, we'll be fine. When we spoke at halftime, you said you needed to tweak the defense a little bit. They looked like that you did that, and they looked like they played very well. In the well, I think they, I didn't think they can beat our poles. You know, I mean, they couldn't run by our poles, and they were doing a good job against the shorts. So we kind of made it tough for the the shorts to get the ball, and I think our poles did a really good job. And they got a couple, they got a couple goals off bounces and stuff like that. But I think our defense did a much better job. They don't have anybody that can really blow by you, but they you let them. If you let them hold the ball and meticulously work you down, then they can do some things. But I think once we made it tough for their shorts to get the ball, they kind of changed things around. And I think our mid our mid did a good job, and then our poles did a great job. There were probably a couple in there that he wanted back, but I thought Sam Ross was really good tonight and obviously came up with a huge one at the end. Yeah, you know, in the second quarter, he kind of, you know, Tom talking the way up, I thought he's a little off in the second quarter, but I think that's more of us, you know, not sliding really well and kind of uh, giving them some good shots that they probably shouldn't have gotten because of our uh, kind of some poor slides and stuff like that. But Sam did a good job. He's one of the better keepers in the country and, you know, he made some saves when he needed them and uh, that's what he does. You know, he's a little nicked up. He had a bad thumb too and stuff and uh, he got in practice, but he'll get a few days rest and be fine. But Sam did a great job and Justin in you know, the second half was great. You know, that's a pretty good kid, and you know, he, you know, he did a great job. I think he won 12 of those 14 faceoffs, whatever it was in the second half, and that's why we have him. And he helped us out to do that. And uh, you know, when you in these situations, you need your big time players to play big, and we did. You brought Tom Brown up here tonight. It's senior night, and this 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 thing that you've been through this season defensively, we've almost sort of stopped talking about it because it's been so long right. since uh, your three guys went down. But the job that they've done of hanging in there this year and battling after losing your top three defensemen, can you just, for the totality of the season, tell me what the effort has meant to you? You know, I think any team that loses five of the top six, you know, close defensemen at the start of the season would, uh, you know, be in different situation. But Tom has done a great job being a leader for us in that situation and helping us out and and. And, uh, and uh, you know, he was really just, you know, raised the level as a senior. You expect them to do that. You know, we're so young. We're playing so many freshman polls or sophomore polls and you guys in there. And uh, he's done a great job making that a cohesive unit. It took us a few games to get there, but they're more like a, a bend, don't break defense. And I think they do a really good job understanding their strengths and weaknesses. And, and we understand what they're about. And, and I think that we're giving them a, a good chance to be successful each weekend. And Tom's the leader of that defense, and he's done a really good job. And uh, we're glad that he's here. You know, he's been through a lot in his career. And uh, to finish his last two years here, I think it's been a real blessing for him. And he's really fit in well with our family and we're happy for him and his family and everything and uh, it's been great to have him in the win on senior night with a great defensive effort for a kid like him what he's been through I think it's, it's a pretty special moment for him. Coach congratulations on the win we'll see you Wednesday night for the semifinals. Thank you. It's Coach Paul Cantabene